Once I had been discharged from the Air Force, I was told that I needed to file a claim within that year, which I did. And I was denied the claim because they said that the damage to my knee, to my back, and to my face were all a part of the normal growth process. I was denied any compensation based on that reason. The thing about help with the disability claims process is that it's not about how much money somebody has or how much intelligence somebody has. It can be a complex process to navigate no matter how much education um, and experience you might have. I think they should know how very grateful we are for their service to our country and how disappointed we are that the system is as difficult as it is. Every veteran out there might encounter difficulties with this process. I had been trying myself for about 10 years to work with the VA and I was just overwhelmed. The legalese that they use and the, and the, the volume of paperwork that they throw at you is more like a gauntlet than an assistance. One day my wife comes home and she said, oh, there's a woman that's starting a clinic for veterans. Would you like to talk to her? And I said, well, oh, okay, you know, I'll, I'll talk to her. Because at, at that time, I had, uh, had to stop working and I'd been sitting basically in a room angry at the world for about three years. Very quickly, we had people who just read about the fact we were going to open a clinic like this who would come and talk to us and say, hey, can you, you know, help me? The American Bar Association actually prohibits first year law students from being in a clinic. The second years and third years come in. And in the summer, we have students who choose to work with us as their summer job. Um, it's really peanuts that, that they earn, but they, they want to be with the clinic. We're completely dedicated to doing all that we can here um, as students and faculty with the program to help as many veterans as possible obtain the benefits they rightfully earned. I've been treated in the highest regard here. I've had students that I've met that have come in the program and I've seen uh, leave that I still stay in contact with. One of our uh, alumni at the school here uh, reached out to me during the application process and his class, the class of 74, was actually responsible for putting the funds together for the clinic uh, to start it up. And uh, that was the first time I learned about it, learned about the history, uh, the good work that they do, and uh, just really wanted to be a part of that and uh, was thrilled at the opportunity that I could work here for the summer. My father's in the military and he's currently active duty and so it was a great opportunity for me to be able to come to the clinic and to be able to help these veterans and it was not just a great opportunity because of what I was able to learn about practicing law but also being able to help these veterans with their claims. It's also helpful to the VA by utilizing the thorough fact and legal research investigation that we do and the analysis of these claims, we submit a really comprehensive claims package, so it's much easier for the VA to adjudicate. The biggest thing I learned from these folks is, is to speak up about, you know, when you have an issue. These folks have been great to me because they're the ones that have dug in there. They can speak the legalese and be the liaison between me and the VA to, to help me get assistance. Five years from now, I think we'll be larger than we are right now. Um, I think that we'll have expanded this model across the country to many more law schools and that there'll be more veterans receiving this kind of help. Being able to get a total package of 100% disability, I couldn't have done it without the school, no way.